Yes, Nityanand guys, once again, another video. Today, a very powerful cognition. Why you need Guru in your life. The purpose of life, especially in the human body, is enlightenment. Um, life speak in, speaks in a language that we do not grasp easily. Because we operate from the senses and from the mind, we understand things uh, in a comfortable, comfortable way, in a certain kinds of frequency range. Life operates from all frequencies and most of the time very subtly and in, uh, on the opposite side sometimes very tragically. So Guru, because it is the embodiment of cosmos in the body, he can relate to you in the way that you feel comfortable to relate to with the words, actions, human body, everything that you feel accustomed to and that you associate yourself to. This association makes it very easy for you to cognize and understand the deep principles of the cosmos so that you can imbibe them and awaken them, reawaken them within yourself. When you don't have Guru, you will be taught, but you will be taught by life, by Kala Bhairava. And the way Kala Bhairava teaches is never pleasant and it is almost impossible to understand because he operates in a frequency that we do not grasp. And when we do not, when we are not ferocious with our patterns and the pattern has to be removed or completed, Kala Bhairava will remove it in a way that is most of the time generating a lot of suffering. Whether it is a disease, an accident, an intense situation. Um, he will simply rip the karma out of your life but in a way that you will not understand and that will most likely make you generate more powerless cognitions about yourself and about life and that is why the cycle is kind of endless. But when you have a guru which is in the human body, speaks a language you understand, then the transition or the grasping of these principles so that you can shift your inner space and your thought currents can happen beautifully, easily, smoothly and make the whole thing successful. So that's one of the big reasons why having a guru is very important in your life just to make the journey successful and comfortable. So we should not take for granted that um, how blessed we are to have a guru that relate to us in the way that our mind can uh, grasp. That is a very big blessing and that blessing should not be taken for granted and we should align, constantly cherish gratitude towards the Guru and the universe for allowing Paramashiva, for allowing that uh, happening, the happening of the Guru in your life to be there so that you can uh, fulfill your unfulfilled desires and at the same time raise yourself to the ultimate, to the highest frequency of existence and operate from there. So that is why Guru is very important so that you can have a comfortable and successful journey. So with this, I'll see you guys in another episode of Powerful Cognitions about the Guru-Disciple relationship. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm going to answer your questions in another video if it's necessary. Otherwise, I'll answer in the comments below. And I'll see you guys very soon. Nityanandam.